What's up with Rambly the Raccoon? Throughout the game Indigo Park, Rambly, an AI tour guide, accompanies us through the decaying remains of Indigo Park in hopes of getting the park up and running again. While investigating the park's mysterious shutdown, we can see Rambly glitch out frequently. For example, at the start of the game, Rambly's first glitch happens when he meets Ed. While being registered in a system, he believes it's Tuesday rather than Saturday. We know it's Saturday because the computer in the same room displays Saturday as today's date. No worries, it's Rambly Tuesday. So you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow me to the main gate. Ooh, I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer. So you're probably wondering, why does Rambly glitch a lot? Well, the answer actually lies at the end credits of chapter one. Rambly talks about how after all the hard work that we've done, that he can go for a nice relaxing defragmentation himself. Don't worry, it's fine. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. Heck, I could go for a nice relaxing defragmentation myself. On the technical side of things, defragmentation is a method of reorganizing data, usually employed to increase speed and efficiency by clustering bits of files near each other. With all the routine files being created, edited, or deleted, reorganization is key to increasing the speed, efficiency, and effectiveness of hard disks. While a lack of defragmentation may explain why Rambly occasionally slows down, further explanation is given during Rambly Rush, an arcade game that most likely parallels the past events in the park. This is shown through Rambly's Railroad, where we can see Salem's destroyed train stop seamlessly wrecked by Molly's plane crash similar to how she comes down in Rambleberry Woods during the arcade game, the very same place used in the backdrop for Salem's stop. In the game, Salem uses a virus, represented as a potion, to corrupt Molly Macaw. After Rambly defeats Molly, we see the screen begin to glitch out. This implies the virus also spread to Rambly, which would explain his glitches along with Molly, Lloyd, and Finley's strange behavior. Furthermore, at Salem's stop on the railroad, we can see Rambly's appearance rapidly changed as he attempts to convey a message unsuccessfully. This would also imply that he was corrupted by the virus. However, despite being affected, he doesn't seem to act aggressively like the other mascots. This is most likely because he's an AI rather than a mascot. So while it may slow him down, he is able to detect and effectively prevent further corruption. However, in certain areas of the park like Salem stop on the train, he's unable to stop the corruption caused by thinking about her. You may wonder why Salem created the virus. It's most likely because she's the villain in the classic Indigo cartoons that help inspire the park's creation. This is evidenced by the retro Lloyd plushie, the mascot's cartoony designs and personalities in Indigo Park. This would explain how Salem, Rambly, and the other mascots have known each other for 100 years. Why the long face and body? You've known me for 100 years, Rambly. Salem, most likely tired of losing, decided to make the virus, depicted as a potion in an arcade game, in retaliation for her low status at the park. This is supported by this clip of Molly's animatronic counterpart found during the railroad ride. The Molly animatronic talks about how Rambly does not help, along with hurting Lloyd. <laughs> When reversed, she says that Rambly is a killer. Salem's character is also described as a major troublemaker. She's always causing trouble for Rambly and the gang, making it likely what Molly's animatronic is mimicking is false. While Rambly did kill Molly, she did make multiple attempts to kill us. So while Rambly did kill her, it wasn't by choice, rather in defense. Besides this, there's no evidence that Rambly's a killer since he was confined to the park's entrance for the last eight years. Although Salem is the presumed antagonist of Indigo Park, it's likely that she's not the only acting force behind the park's shutdown and the corruption of Rambly and his friends. But for now, we'll have to wait for Chapter 2's release for further answers. With that said, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the theory presented here today. If you agree with my theory or have any other theories of your own, feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, positive, be there for another, and remember, the grind never stops, and I'll see you guys in the next one.